Hi, my name is Stephanie Robbins and I'm with Robbins Plumbing and today I want to educate you on the difference of a ball valve versus a gate valve and the pros and cons of both actually there's not very many cons to a ball valve only when you get into bigger size pipe you will find one of these two valves in your home either at the front of your home or above your water heater. And they are very, very important. If your water heater's leaking and you've got 50 gallons of water gushing, you wanna be able to stop it. So you had a leak in your house. You wanna be able to shut it down before your home floods. That's where these valves become your best friend. And we're gonna cover the difference between them today and which one you should have for your home. So a gate valve, a lot of homes in the Phoenix area have a gate valve. And how a gate valve works, it's very much like the name. It is a gate, so like a drawbridge. When you turn the circular handle, it lifts, this one does not work well, which is typical of a gate valve, but it lifts or drops this gate within your pipe, closing it or opening it so water can come through. So you want this gate to be dropped and closed when you're trying to alleviate an emergency. The problem with gate valves is they are notorious for failing. And a lot of that is due to us as homeowners not exercising them on a regular basis. They get tight, they get corroded with hard water like you can see on here. And then in that case of an emergency, you're still in the case of an emergency because this won't work. Or better yet, you'll be able to shut this off, but it won't let you turn the water back on. The gate drops in valves like this all of the time, and you think you're doing a good thing, flood in your bathroom, shut off the water to your home, and you're calling us because you can't get the water back on. Super common, and that is typical of a gate valve. So, and they just harden like this. You can see all of this hard water on here. This valve didn't stand a chance. So this one is actually frozen in the closed position, which is why you can't see through this pipe. And all you can do at this point is remove the gate completely and not have a shutoff valve at all. A better option, a more reliable option is a ball valve. So you want to make sure that you have this at the front of your home or above your water heater because this only turns 90 degrees and you can see through the pipe here, but this is a ball valve. And just like a gate describes a gate that's dropping, a ball valve is dropping or it's spinning a ball inside. So it's only got to turn 90 degrees. It doesn't have to be exercised as often and it is 1000 times more reliable. You open it, you close it, you open it, you close it and bam, you have either water or no water. There's not the reliability of threads and corrosion to be concerned with. It is just simply a ball turning within the valve that will either turn the water on or turn the water off in a split second. And those seconds matter when you're concerned about your home flooding. So as far as making sure you have one of these, again, you wanna make sure you have one both at the front of your home to shut off the water to your entire home. And you also wanna make sure that this is the valve that is above your water heater. In case of an emergency, your water heater is leaking or you have a leak on your hot side and you don't wanna shut off the water to your entire home, you wanna make sure that a dependable ball valve is above your water heater as well. If you find yourself in a situation, you have this, you definitely wanna plan within your budget to have it replaced with a ball valve. A couple of hundred dollar investment on a ball valve could save you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars on a flood, on reliability when it's time to, of course you don't want to have an emergency, but like having insurance, you wanna be prepared for it. And this is an insurance policy, this is, not an insurance policy. This is a surprise. Guess, let's see if it's gonna work. And we don't want that in the case of your home if you have a leak. 
Um, if you do have a gate valve, we highly recommend giving us a call to come out and get those replaced. You can, of course, reach us at 623-486-4657, or you can also conveniently schedule with us on our website at robinsplumbing.com.